Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a time worth having. When I'm producing my audio cast, a term that I coined about how you can take an audio file and simply put a visual image on it or few and then post it online in a video channel to take care and better care of you, allowing people to multitask and people to simply listen without being impacted by the images, which is what people do. They use imagery to advertise to you. But this time, I'm just asking you to listen to the language. I'm not asking you to be interested in who I am or what I look like. I'm asking you to just be open to talking about, listening about, hearing about a topic and allowing your own mind to react naturally inside. If there are terms that you don't know when you hear me speak, then by all means write them down, look them up on your phone, look them up in a dictionary, look them up at the library. Educate yourself, improve yourself, do what you need to do. If there's concepts or ideology or opinions that you've got that are different from me, congratulations. You are you and you have the right to do that. But in life we have most of the time to speak the truth that homeless people still have rights. We have the right to privacy of our life. We have the right to make decisions on our life. We have the right to choose the food we wish to eat. We have the right to choose the clothes we're going to wear. We have the right to decide what we're going to do with our hair. We have the right to decide how long we're going to grow our motherfucking beards. And we're going to decide whether or not we're going to go to the laundromat and take the risk of someone thinking they're going to steal from us. Now in life, we know what is and isn't real in a public suburb of a community that is affluent and influential. Because there are certain community expectations about how we live our life. But that doesn't mean that abuse and sexual assault doesn't happen every day in the homes of those people. But at the same time, we know that what it can be like in the impoverished community is dealing with and suffering through a lot of financial difficulties, but also a lot of verbal abuse and a lot of inappropriate language and profanity that really doesn't have any justification in its use. You see, in the real world of men and women, in the real world of salary jobs, in the real world of building businesses, we don't typically do that. Now, certainly there are businesses that have made the online television networks that are sort of like that. But the truth of reality of most people, 90% of people, we don't do that. So if I swear on occasion, it means I'm passionate about a subject, or I'm passionate about my life, and I have the right to be passionate about how I wish and choose to display myself or not and live my life.